Eva Jessai. Eva Jessai, January 20, 1895, February 21, 1992, was an American conductor who was the first black woman to receive international distinction as a professional choral conductor. She is notable as a choral conductor during the Harlem Renaissance. She created her own choral group, which featured widely in performance. Her professional influence extended for decades through her teaching as well. Her accomplishments in this field were historic for any woman. She collaborated in productions of groundbreaking works, directing her choir and working with Virgil Thompson and Gertrude Stein on Four Saints in Three Acts, 1933, and serving as musical director with George Gershwin on his innovative opera Porgy and Bess, 1935. Early Life and Education Eva Jessai was born January 20, 1895, in Coffeville, Kansas. She was educated at Western University, a historically black university in Kansas, and Langston University in Oklahoma. She later studied privately with Will Marion Cook in New York City. In 1919, Jessai began work as the choir director at Morgan State College in Baltimore. She returned west for a time to teach at an Amy Church school in Oklahoma. In 1926, she went back east to Baltimore, where she began to perform regularly with her group, the Eva Jessai Choir. She had first named them the original Dixie Jubilee Singers, but many groups began to appropriate the name Dixie Jubilee Singers, so she changed hers. She and the group moved to New York, where they appeared frequently in the stage show at the Capitol Theater, where Eugene or Mandy conducted the orchestra. They were also frequent performers on NBC and WR Radio in New York. They recorded on Brunswick, Columbia, and Cameo Records in the 1920s. In 1929, Jessai went to Hollywood as the choral director for the MGM film Hallelujah, which had an all-black cast directed by King Vidor. She received praise from members of the black press when she spoke out against the discriminatory practices that she endured while on the set for this film. In New York, Jessai worked with creative multiracial teams in groundbreaking productions that experimented with form, music, and stories. In 1933, she directed her choir in Virgil Thompson's and Gertrude Stein's opera, Four Saints in Three Acts, produced as a Broadway theater work. According to Stephen Watson, the Eva Jessai Choir's participation in Four Saints represented a musical and economic breakthrough for African-American singers at the time. Watson quotes Jessai describing Four Saints as quite a departure, because up to that time, the only opportunities involved things like Swanee River, or That's Why Darkies Are Born, or Old Black Joe. They called that our music, and thought we could sing those things only by the gift of God, and if God hadn't given us that gift, we wouldn't have any at all. With this opera, we had to step on fresh ground, something foreign to our nature completely. Jessai also demanded that her singers be paid for rehearsal, fighting the deeply ingrained system of discriminatory salaries, rampant kickbacks, and non-payment of choruses during rehearsals, writes Watson. In 1935, George Gershwin chose her as his music director for his opera Porgy and Bess. In 1927, Jessai published My Spirituals, a collection of her arrangements of spirituals, together with stories about growing up in southeast Kansas. Jessai also composed her own choral works, The Life of Christ in Negro Spirituals, 1931, Paradise Lost and Regained, 1934, A Folk Oratorio and Oratorio, and The Chronicle of Job, 1936. These are combined spirituals, religious narrative or biblical text, and her orchestral compositions. An active supporter of the civil rights movement, Jessai and her choir participated in the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Active into her 80s, she taught at Pittsburgh State University, Pittsburgh, Kansas, and the University of Michigan. She donated her extensive collection of books, scores, artwork, and other materials to the University of Michigan, which became the basis of the university's African-American music collection. 
Dr. Jessai was a member of Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. Legacy and Honors Shortly before her death in Ann Arbor, Michigan, she established the Eva Jessai African American Music Collection at the University of Michigan. She left most of her personal papers to Pittsburgh State University in Kansas.